Hello and welcome back to Boring Dead Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing a bit more Pyrene, which I've been greatly enjoying, even though yes, uh, last episode, yesterday's episode, um, it felt a little bit like we didn't make huge progress in terms of the, nar the story, the narrative, um, but I think in terms of, uh, you know, the roguelike meta progression, I, I think we did, because we've, un we've unlocked relics and cards and stuff. I still don't think I've, unless the right stuff comes up in the merchant shops, although we do have a reroll now. I feel a bit like um, we're not going to have too much luck with Matilda, but we, as we know, I've activated um, a, a second life, basically, which would probably help a little less HP for the enemies. I mean, uh, the ones that are coming in at like a 10 or 11 HP are still going to be a problem because that's going to be at 9 or 10 HP. It's still, it's still a lot. Um, but also the altars should hopefully just default to giving us a bit more. Um, Let's start off. Let's start off in the dark forest again. See how this goes. Okay, more on the shield. That's not too bad. Um, I mean, we don't need to really worry about any of these guys. So let's just uh, let's work through them. That was a bit of a waste, wasn't it? I shouldn't have done that. Never mind. Um, okay, well they're dead then. Uh, might as well do that first. I can swap. I probably don't want to do too much though. I do want to build the mana up, so I'll only do that if it you know, really makes sense to. Um, yeah, I think we can, uh, we can do all of these. Hopefully we get something very nice for us in the chest at the end. Uh, we get... Another max provision, that's good, that will be needed. What have we got? Four burn to four random enemy cards in play. This is a card. Uh, as long as this card is in play, after each of your moves, inflicts one poison to one random enemy. Triggers one time. So we leave this on the board and it's gonna poison enemies. Could be useful. Inflicts two poison and two bleed to all enemies in play. the one I think. The other one sounded good too, you know, if it hadn't been for the one I thought sounded better, I'd probably have taken that. Okay. Um, well, let's sharpen something. That's good. That's where I wanted that to go. Just as I thought, that new card I picked up, it's not going to be active, is it? We'll have, to, we'll have to deal with that after this encounter. I'll take that now, and uh, then we'll rest. Okay, that's good. Gets rid of everything. Um, how can I best do this? Well, I think we want to prioritise the mana and the gold. And we'll rest. There's the altar. It's pretty good. Um, can't really get that. That's stuck in there a bit, isn't it? I can't get both. I mean, I could if I was to rest again, which I might, because that's up to ten now, so I'm pretty much guaranteed a legendary card, I think. Take the gold. I mean, I could keep charging it. I did a switcheroo. It's up to 12 now. Uh, we got the mana. Let's go in. Intrig I'm intrigued. Look at that. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm intrigued to see what it contains. Take the four gold as well. What do we get? What do we get? Hmm. Uh, we've seen this one, the Woodcaster Danger Zones. We have Bloodstone. When you receive Bleed, it gives you Shield instead. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Uh, Bonehorn. When an enemy receives Thorns, it takes as much damage. Now, this is the one. Because all those enemies I'm avoiding because they inflict Bleed, suddenly that's giving us Shield. That's very good. I think the other thing 
with Matilda that, that is difficult about her is that she uh, she's kind of inflicting a max of four damage on stuff. So when you are hitting those enemies that have 10 or 11 health, you know, whereas one of the other characters would be one-shotting them. For Matilda, potentially, she's got to face check them like <laughs> three times and take all their damage again and again. Um, which kind of does mean with this little fella, um, thinking about the max health, because, you know, it's not just health, it's, it's damage that we're inflicting. So I think I will take that. We might well come back to him in this zone. Um, let's see who the other merchant is. I don't have a lot right now. So these are, these are relics. Uh, thorns on enemies is triggered. That's an anvil. When you heal your HP, we're not really doing that. When an enemy receives dodge, they receive poison in stone. I've seen enemies receive dodge very much. There was a reroll available, but I, I won't trigger that just yet. In fact, I want to uh, probably let's do that like so. All right, let's go and do a fight. Uh, so let's sharpen that hammer. So that is sort of getting sharpened each time, isn't it? Because tend, these tend to be in play together. I wonder if we can manipulate that potentially to act on a card that we would prefer it to work on. Maybe they're all dead. Okay. Yeah, so this should. So this. So we're up to 21. That should take us to 22. Yeah, it did. Excellent. And don't forget that we've got the, the relic that gives us plus one shield to all of that, so um, that should work pretty well. I'm already feeling happier about the relics and stuff I've got this time. Ooh. Nice. Okay, we want to kind of keep charging that, I think. Let's, uh, let's rest again. Yeah, we can hit all of these, I think. Let's avoid the medicinal parts. Let's come do this. More shield, thank you very much. I'll be farming those enemies that do bleed now. Cool. Got another quite shiny chest. That is a shiny chest. It's a shiny, shiny chest. Um, so which is our shiny card? This one? Gives you four shield for every enemy in play. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Inflict six frost to six random enemy cards in play. Also good. Heals you six HP. Not that one, because as we as we know, we can even re-roll this. But this is this is the one, I think, isn't it? This is good too. But this, giving us that shield, in fact, because of her um, other rel starting relic, that'll be five for every enemy in play, don't forget. So we need to get that card playing. Probably instead of the basic shield. Let's get that going in early as well. I want the provisions. I feel like, well, yeah, like I was saying, this one that could get other stuff getting upgraded better. Maybe I want this one, because that's just going to go up and up and up hugely. Yeah. Let's go with that. I've got a good feeling about that. Famous last words. Uh, let's do more combat in this zone, and then we'll go back to the merchant and maybe do other stuff. Yeah, so ideally that actually goes up to five. It does. And we'll unavoidably kill an enemy, but that's going to give us... 24 shield? 21. Uh, how does that divide? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> it's a lot anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's just farm enemies now. I think that card hopefully is the key to us actually winning this run. Again, it, I mean, the provisions is what... Well, I mean, the provisions, running out of provisions, the thing about that is if we've got a high shield, it, it'll, it'll come off the shield instead. Now we'll take that. Let's do that too. Uh, just do these four. 
That'll kill him. There's that. Um, I think I'll... Yeah, so we'll rest. We'll get some more enemies coming in. That's fine. Mm, we can do around these. And... Uh, that chest even more. All of these. Now level 12 chest. Let's check it out. It's not shiny, but it's going to have a legendary in it. Wood cards also heal your HP. Hmm. Immune to... I mean, we don't... The thing about the bleed damage is we're not going to be taking that now. Using a special power also heals you 3 HP. I mean... Mm, our HP is... It? If we're getting into our HP, we've pretty much already lost the run. Um, yeah, I, we're not going to be taking bleed damage. I was just checking the wording of that relic. I'll take, I'll take the pine cone. I don't think any of those... Oh, could I have re-rolled those? Just thinking I might have been able to re-roll that, which is a bit of a shame. Ah, okay. I'll check that out next time. There's a bunch of stuff that I'm not particularly fussed about. This is good. Um, so I guess the question... We should upgrade it first. Definitely. Oh, well, in my head, I don't know why I even thought about that, but yeah. All that shield. Uh, do I do, I, I'm just gonna. Until I need to get the shield, I'm just gonna keep just building up the mana, I think. Uh, I wanna get up there, really. Hm. Okay, works for me. The altar. It'd be so wasteful just to use shield cards to get around, wouldn't it? I think what we'll do is this. And then we'll rest again. Refresh enemies. And, uh, yeah, let's just get more of this stuff. Feels bad to leave that one, but it just being sort of stuck there on the edge kind of means that it's a bit wasted. But anyway, we've got up to level 12, so that's pretty good. And we got an extra deck. I could have re-rolled those as well. I should have done. After you dodge, inflicts three poison to all enemies in play. That is good. I can't inflict poison yet, but we might be able to. Iron shield at the start of all future biomes. Sets your shield, sets your shield to six. That's bad for us. It would reduce our shield. Um, after you dodge... These aren't good enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-roll this. What do we get? When an enemy receives bleed, you receive as much shield. Enemies appear with two poison. I'm not inflicting bleed. It doesn't mean that I won't be able to in the future, but... This just means all enemies will basically take two damage when they appear. I think that's pretty good, actually. Alright, let's take that. So now we can... Have our extra shield or the extra damage? I feel like because of this ring, I feel like the shield isn't quite as as needed for us now. Um, oh, to get through that, um, stay here for now. Yeah, because I want to go back to that merchant and I want to maybe even the the anvil as well. Improve a card potentially. In fact, let's do this. Because if I improve the whetstone just for eight, 
That's going to be adding two to that ring every single time. Let's go back to the uh, shepherd. What do I want? I can't do the X, the HP. That's fair enough, I suppose. Uh, but I could do both the endurance and the luck. So let's do those. So now I can do the shield as well. That's kind of there as like our emergency shield at the end of the run if, if we need it. So that seems good. Um, okay. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Uh, I don't have any money left, so we just got to move past the uh, cards merch. And I, you know, I might have tried re-rolling perhaps, but let's move to the next biome. I've got a good feeling about this. And that ring, we're, we should be set. Really. And then this is interesting because the whetstone might also do this ring, and did. I might save this one now because there aren't that many enemies in play anymore. He's dead. Take that. Let's rest. I hope we get more enemies in. Um, I'll take this now. Okay, so that's 13. That was not as good as it could have been, but still. Let's get the torch up. Oh yeah, there wasn't not many enemies came in that time. Never mind. I'll take that. Yeah, so they're, they're going to be taking damage if I just move around. That seems pretty good. Good. Okay. Oh, oh, we're taking damage. Okay, run out of provisions. Should be getting a provisions card in, though, I would think. Okay, so the thing's in play then. Votive altar, because uh, we're getting these dropped instead. Let's just work through these guys, I guess. I uh, don't need that. Let's do that. Grab that. Should I? No, I won't rest again, because I don't have any provisions. That would be bad. Why don't I have provisions? Did I already... Maybe I already used that. I might have that coming in slightly later. Ethereal Knife gives you two dodge, and then attacks two random enemies. Potentially not too bad. Golden Apple gives you three provisions, gold and shield. That seems pretty good. Because I am, provisions does seem to be a little bit of an issue for us. Yeah, I'll take that. Have a look. So... Probably I'll do that instead of the basic card. Maybe have that coming in first. Maybe even like there. I wonder if I have that there. Just, you know, that whetstone might start increasing that as well, which I think would be good. We'll see how it feels. See how that feels. Where are we going? So we're there. We've got a merchant to the right. Um, not much gold, though. So let's do other fights and then see where we are. So where's my whetstone? It's all the way over there. Um, I guess I'll do that to get a good amount of shield. Do that. So that... I forget what that was. That's the golden apple, I think. That's just Let's get some light in here. There's only one enemy, so that would have been completely wasted. As is that really. Take that now. Uh, let's rest. We can arm provisions. There's our provisions. That was good timing. Got a spid. Uh, there might be an enemy there. I'm not sure. We'll do that anyway. I guess not. Leave these other two, I guess. Got the provisions. Um, let's do that now. More light in here. Yeah, so the altar's in play. That's good. 
Still got 30 on shield. This is pretty good. Oh yeah, lovely. Lovely stuff. What's this? The frost on enemies no longer decreases when you move. I mean, I don't have a way of putting frost on yet, but if I did, that would be immense. See, these two together. <laughs> Using a special flower inf power inflicts four frost on all enemies in play. I'm going to take this, because if I, you know, on, on, the, on like that last mountain level, all the HP the enemies had, you know, I've got the mana now to do a few special moves. Um, which would have saved my bacon. So let's do that. So we've got an anvil up. Um, I do um, some gold, but I think I might just um, do the fights in this level first and then go in with the gold I've saved. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. So we can get, look at that ring now. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to take that because I didn't want to... Uh, uh, let's not limit ourselves on that. Do that now. I'm just going to assume that a good amount of enemies have come in, and it looks like they did. Let's take a little torch. Okay. Let's work our way around these guys. Gonna take some health damage, but we've got 41 shields, so I think we can tank it. I'll take the torch. Yeah, let's do all these. Wondering if we rest again and really bump this up. We only lose one health. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah, nice. So this is now a level 13 altar. Uh, take shield. It's a shame the shield doesn't carry over. Maybe there's a relic that will allow that to happen. Gives you two. So this is a card. Gives you two shields and two dodge. A legendary turnip. One provision for each empty space. We have, we, I mean, we have a maximum of five. Um, This would just kind of replace that apple. I feel like that would probably always at least be as good. Um, switch those. I mean, I could even, at least for one fight, bump that up, hopefully. And then suddenly that's two provisions for each empty space. Yeah, maybe we'll level that. I, could, I mean, I could even level it at the uh, anvil saying that. I feel like suddenly that that becomes very worth it doing that. I'll save the rest of my gold just for now. But I think I switched that probably back to there now. I feel like I've got some really good cards this time. Um, okay, so we've got another one of those... Um... Oh, exploration rings. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Let's see who the merchant is. Some cards. Gives you two dodge. Meh, meh, meh. Two damage to all enemies in play. Heals your AP by the HP by the total damage inflicted. <laughs> if I'd known she had that card, I'd have um, I've taken that other relic. Which one did I end up taking? Um, Special power inflicts frost, yeah. I've taken the other one, that would have been amazing. I 
And all I'm thinking is that is kind of like a straight upgrade on this sword. It just has another effect, so I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll just switch that out, I think. Again, I could even sort of get that doing like sort of three damage, four damage to all enemies. Well, if I do that once, it'll be four damage to all enemies, won't it? That seems worth it. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Tell you what, if I can't finish a run with all the stuff I've got this time, I, I just don't know what to say. I'm tempted to take this now because there's a lot of enemies in play. And also it kind of ensures that the uh, that will affect the thing I want it to affect. I don't think I will use it now though. I'll, um, I'll take this guy out and I'll just rest. Probably more or less clear the map, I would say. Leave that gold for now, I think. Take that. Take that. Take that. Okay. There's not that many enemies in play, is there, really? Um, I take, I'll, take, I'll take the gold and I'll rest as I've got those provisions. We need the thing to come up anyway. Okay, so it's on the map. That's good. Hopefully we'll find it. Okay. Um, yeah, I can probably leave that one gold in favour of sort of taking all this. I think I might even take a cheeky rest as well and... Uh, I feel like I'm actually farming monsters now. Uh, I mean, we could take the provisions. Let's... We don't need them. I'll take a level 11 altar. Let's see, so we've got... When you receive poison, it also gives you shield. Amazing. So now, any time we're getting any of those status effects, we're, uh, we're gaining shield. Uh, doubles all burn. Gold coins also inflict bleed to all enemies in play. Interesting. I would definitely take this. 100%. Now that's the swamps. New biome. I'm, I'm going to go and um, go back to the merchants though. We've got so much gold now. Um... Might be roll. Yeah. Okay, we could go back to the um, anvil though. Think about what other card we might upgrade. do this because like it just constantly <laughs> upgrades all the other cards um i mean the only question in my mind is whether i, I mean i probably let it i probably let it roll for like another battle take that up to seven damage to all enemies and then maybe switch that back with the ring again and then suddenly we're an absolute tank anyway new biome let's check it out this is the first time i've got this far with this character Hmm. Now what? It doesn't seem to have any sort of special stuff, but I'm guessing there's a lot of poison around. Inflicts you too incurable. Well, I can't, I'm not healing anyway, so... Um, yeah, so I think, well, I think I'll go around this way. Hello, what's that? Poolober. 
Right, that's up to seven now. That's what we wanted. Um, I think I'll clear these cars, but I won't take that staff just yet. Okay, what we got? Kelpie. Gaweko. So he was his was this thing. Nocturnal gains plus three max HP when you spend the night. Okay, so we don't want to spend the night with him. Uh, it's a bit of a waste, but at the same time, it's going to kill all them, so... I suppose I have to take that, because I don't want to take that. Yeah, let's rest now. Okay, so we'll take that at this point. Let's take the provisions. I think we'll just work around in order. All that poison is giving me more shield. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was quite clutch getting that just before we head into the swamps, because I feel like poison is going to be fairly common here. Right, we've got the turnips. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, that's going to give us shield. All this stuff is going to give us shields, so that's amazing. Just thinking about it in terms of um, when I get that turn. That's all our provisions up. Smack him. I think I'm gonna roll the dice again. We're just gonna cruise through all this stuff and get that altar upgraded. What's this? That's that's piercing damage. That's fine. Thirteen altar. Don't mind if I do. Reroll. Gives plus two to all cards in play from your deck. Triggered twice. Current zone only. I'll take two shield and two dodge. How are we doing here? I mean, I'm, there's so much stuff I can't squeeze in now. Maybe this is a bit redundant with this, like, it's not really needed. It does do the damage, I suppose. Yeah, alright, let's, let's keep things as they are. I mean, it's working, isn't it? So far. Wits oh, I, I forgot to swap my, car swap my cards around, so that's going to be a plus ten now. <laughs> there's a, l oh, uh, yeah, it's a little, bit, little bit redundant in this zone, but... So, let's just do that. Okay. It's not doing a huge amount for us, so maybe I'll... Just kind of try and clear some stuff before I take it. I mean... Tell you what. It's a bit wasteful, but I'm going to do this principally so I can kind of get around this stuff without taking the ring. Let's uh, rest. Hopefully get more enemies in. Yeah, that's better. Please poison me. All it's doing is making me stronger. <laughs> Well, it does. Okay, to be fair, it doesn't say <laughs> when you receive poison. Okay, it doesn't say that we're immune to poison. So fair enough. I may, I may have misunderstood what that card does. It's not a huge deal. Level fourteen. We'll give that a go. Okay, this is new. When using a special power, deals as many as many damage to all non-boss enemies and players. It's cost in spirits. 
Plus 12. That's amazing. Yeah, 100%. Move on, we've got a, an altar. Uh, what have we got this time? It gives you three, uh, so okay, so it gives us three shield. Heals you one HP for each enemy in play. Gives you one shield for each enemy in play. Okay. I don't, that's going to be two shields for each enemy in play. Well, I might take that on the whetstone. Because we'll be taking that every single time right at the beginning. And then if I each can choose a different card for this. That's something that comes in later and, you know, gives us the HP if we really need it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so we we'll move into a new fight. These have come out together, so I'm interested to see which one it bumps up. So once again, I've forgotten to do the order of my cards. So that's not, <laughs> that's not 13 damage to all enemies. I'll be fine. Uh, I'll leave that ring up. Uh, I'm actually going to bring this out. Again, it's so wasteful, but it kind of just gives me a, the ability to come and, and just hoover stuff up. Try and change the order of my deck round next time. Um, although it wouldn't have held there because they were both still on the same board anyway. This will give us. This will give us. This will take that, but I'll leave that for now. Just sit central. Altar, we've got a few enemies. Um, reptile. Okay. We'll do this. I'll miss out on a gold coin, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I think I think we go again. I think we try and get this this level up. This looks good to me. Probably could keep going more or less infinitely, but I think let's just stir uh, asleep. Uh, another card uh, spins up to six gold and gives you as much shield. Yeah. Deal as much damage as your amount of provision to all enemies in play triggered once. That seems good, because I can up immediately upgrade that to trigger more than once. And that one's the same. I quite like the sound of that. I'll take that. All right, I desperately need some more slots. Um, but we'll switch those round. That is insane now. <laughs> um, this is a good one to have early. Yeah, and if I can get another slot, obviously that comes in. I've got a couple of merchants here, so let's try up here. Hope looking for the shepherd. That's the card salesman. Well, at least she's selling relics now. Okay. When, a, when an enemy receives burn, it takes eight damage. I haven't really got a way of giving burn. Using a power, costing six spirits or more, which mine does, also gives plus one to a card in play from your deck permanently. Interesting. I'm gonna come away though because if the other one, if the other merchant is the shepherd, he's the one I want. Oh, hello. Gentle. Gentilac are a gentle, quiet people. Their longevity is attributed to their deep connection with the region. Who may have seen us, but the Gentilac have inhabited, or never have seen us, but the Gentilac have inhabited these lands long before humans arrived. 
Uh, oh, it triggers cards twice? I mean... This one. I'm going to do this one because that's going to add plus six to a card. Uh, wow, where, where does it say that it's going? Well, it's, it doesn't kind of say on the card, but when you hold over it, it does. Okay, uh, we've got an exploration point down here, it looks like. Take that. There's the boss that way. Let's... Um, Let's do this one first before we go into the boss. I want to come in and get that first because it might hit that, in which case, wow. It did. So this is now going to tri <laughs> trigger seven times. <laughs> ah, okay. damage output now is insane. Wow. Uh, let, yeah, let's roll it. There's still no altar, so we keep going on. I'll just... If we don't win this run, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's probably not the game for me if I don't win this run. Keep going. Level 14. Do we keep going? Nah, we'll just take that. Okay, yeah, we've seen that. Uh, after you dodge, no. Using a special power also inflicts four frost on all enemies in play. But I, I didn't take that one before, did I? I did, so okay, so I don't want to take two of those. It doesn't seem like it's something that would stack, or if, even if it does. Uh, so I'll reroll that. Enemies appear with two frost, that's good. When an enemy receives bleed, gives us. Mm, I'm not resting in the next zone, and I don't. Well, it might it might apply when they when, when the whole thing starts up. I don't know. Okay, let's do the boss. Oh, hello. Who are you, Swamp Monster? So it's going to do four damage. It's appeared with frost and poison, which is nice for us. Uh, I mean, this shielding is going to go insane. thinking which is worth more, going around that way, or taking this now and getting the benefit of those as well. Into this. I've got 78 shield now, so... That seems alright, doesn't it? I mean, I'm... I'm gonna have to like, get through all that shield and stuff. I probably do want to rest, though, because it's gonna bring in, like, all my big, uh, my big guns. We should probably clear as many enemies as we can, so there's as many squares as possible. I won't do the whetstone yet. Got oh, this rest. Uh, if I had more provisions, that would be good. I've got this card too. Out right. It's a bit of a shame because I kind of wanted to show what this card can do, but it's dead. So. <laughs> uh, don't think the gold carries over anyway, so there we go. 
Garcia, you're here. I was afraid something happened to you. But I see your good-for-nothing father has at least managed to find you. For once, he's lifting a finger. Uh, good to see you too, Matilda. I'm hurt, but I guess you haven't noticed. As usual, only interested in your own. For God's sake, stop it, both of you. I'm... Garcia? Oh, he's the father. Okay, we'll swap voices for them then. I'm tired. Let's go home, please. Okay, so we'll sort of hustle the voice for those two. But wow, okay, we got there in the end. Third attempt. 21 wood, two exploration points, all good stuff. So anyway, that build was amazing. Talisman of Grapes. Gives you two provisions and heals you uh, for two HP. So these are the things we add to cards. Inflicts two poison to adjacent enemies. Triggers chain reaction on their adjacent enemies. So I'm guessing maybe the ones adjacent to them take one? I'm not sure. Book of Providence. This is a relic. Adds one golden apple card to danger zones. Blood Belt. When an enemy takes bleed damage, you receive two dodge. Tangled Ring. Uh, relic. Spirit cards can also inflict uh, also inflict thorns to all enemies in play. Okay, tell you what, I really, I really enjoyed that um, run with her. That was great fun. Dad's hurt. Quickly, we've got to... Uh, pumpkin, calm down. I'm fine. You're fine, and everyone else seems to be. Wait a minute. Gregory still hasn't come back. No, not yet. Do you know which direction he went? No, by the time we came down from the watchtower, he might not have... Stop underestimating him. Your brother's much more resourceful than you. He probably got away without a scratch. Like you. <laughs> but if he stumbles on Parin or Herensuj, uh, someone still has to go and get him. Mm-hmm. So, there's something here that we've got. Oh yeah, we got two of these. So what's at the two cost level? The zone with a holy card to collect. That might be good. Because that's free upgrades. A zone with random bonuses. Pagamari, a mysterious lady who has mastered luck. Martin Chiki, an equipment card merchant. A zone with Hadetta, a distinguished relic merchant. Hmm. Merchant fond of spirits and a statue that would challenge you. Well, I think I'm going to take the holy cards because that's just always going to be great, whichever, whichever one it is. Um... I actually have 21 wood, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to just get the, uh, the, the warehouse rebuilt to begin with. Yay. Okay, you're, so this is kind of tracking our progress then. Interesting. Seven characters to unlock. He looks like the guy... These are like the two we've just met. That looks like... Um, Forgotten their name, Lagoe or Lagoe or something. Uh, I don't think we've met him yet. Okay. Right, so I've still got five I need to spend somewhere. What would be a good one to upgrade? Lenoa, sorry, Lenoa. happens at level 2? Does it show you? Um, not yet. Let's let's start working towards it. Okay, um, somewhat conflicted as to whether to start a new run right now or not, but let's just keep playing. When will you ever have the courage to fight? Your own brother's gone and you're sitting here twiddling your thumbs without... You think I don't care about him? No, I wouldn't want to go. I can't do anything until my leg heals. You must already know that, since you always know everything better than everyone else, huh? Oh. Okay. Um, bear in mind how the last run went. Let's go into the uh, relics here. So I'm going to get rid of that one, about going back to the previous zone. I'm going to get rid of the one about HP to enemies. I'm going to keep the one about the votive altars. I think that really helped us early, like getting really nice legendary relics that kind of helped us scale our damage and stuff effectively. <laughs> I mean, we could, we could potentially, you know, if we do another one without those and find out that with that it makes it too easy, we could, uh, you know, we can maybe add some of this stuff. Um, 
I'm not going to do that right now. We've taken off some of the easier modifiers to help us finish a run, basically. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in the mountain. And the reason I'm going to do that is because the first biome you go to uh, is shorter. So, in theory, some of these tougher enemies that we're coming up against, we're coming up against them at the beginning of our run. Biomes can repeat those, so... Ah. Uh... uh I'll also do that. Uh, I'll build there for now. Let's work through these enemies. It's going to be a very different kind of run until we've uh, got some of that shield up and running. Uh, but we'll do our best until then. Altars in play. Um, take the woods. Take that, take that. Probably not going to get as cocky about sort of powering up the altar. I might give it another go though. Going to take some damage. So we've got 10 health. Uh, I'd have to hit him twice. That's two damage in. Um, five. Seven. Nine. Cutting it fine because if an enemy spawns there, I'm a bit screwed. But let's do it because I mean, we're not very far into the run if it, if it all goes pear shapes. So, oh no, I'm dead. I forgot about that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna retry. We're so early on in the run. Oh, I'm in grasslands now. Okay, well, fine. I forgot about not having the provisions. Um, yeah, we'll still do that. I still do that. I think it was good in theory. I just kind of forgot that I couldn't rest again. So I could I could have got out of it quite easily. I just uh, got a bit greedy with it, I guess. Okay. So this time I'm going to make sure I get those provisions. So let's um, let's do this. I'm going to hit him, but I'll leave that uncollected for now. So I'm going to go down and do this, get those provisions, so I can rest. Um, yeah, I think I can do all those. That altar, level 12 for our first one. Doesn't seem too bad. We got the Holy Apple, which is nice, and a legendary chest, which is nice as well. What do we got? So, card, the whip. We've seen this in action. Four thorns, and then uh, replacing them. Uh, swapping them. So that pretty much kills two enemies, to be fair. Gives you two shields. Uh, does have a luck stat? Rem no, that's per run. Okay. Wondering about that. Gives you two seat shield and two dodge. Yeah, I mean, anything that gives us shield is good. What we can do is um, just keep, keep stacking that with that improvement as well. I don't like not having the provisions. So I might make sure I've got that still. For now. Okay. Do that now, because I want I want the whetstone to improve that. Even though I don't think the dodge persists through the rest, but the shield will. Oh, it does. Okay. Uh, I've got to remember I, I'm not powered up with this bleed stuff, so I'm back to avoiding that time being at least. I'll take it. Okay, so we got we got the altar in play, that's good. I uh, got the provisions, but Yeah. I might just run right away through these enemies. 
because that's got me pretty low. I haven't got the mana yet to do that, so... Oh god, I nearly did a rest then. It probably would have killed me. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on that. What have we got here? Not as good as I would have liked. Uh, after you dodge, you receive as many shield as damage dodged. That's pretty good. Because I've got the the dodge thing. As long as you have frost, your attacks also inflict five bleeds. Mm. Add two whip cards to danger zones. You're pretty good. But I like the idea of this. Anything that buffs our shields. Straight to the swamp, huh? Alright. I don't have a lot of protection against poison, so I can't be quite as devil may care this time. Uh, yeah, again, I kind of want that to pump, pump that, so... There we go. So we've got some dodge now. So in theory, this should take me up to 17 shield, right? 18 is about... Ooh. There goes the dodge. Um, what does he do? Oh yeah, we want to get rid of him. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the provisions there. We'll, we'll come round and then stop the share of that provisions square. I think. aren't quite as, as good for me now. Um, I might want to rest again, so I'll take it. I'm going to push it. How are we looking? So I've got nine hit points. Uh, that's going to hit twice for six. Grab that. When you receive poison, gives you shield. That's the one we want because that works really well. Although that, so what was that other thing we've got? After you dodge, you get as much shield as damage dodged. So again, that could work quite well with that. But our special power isn't going to trigger that often compared to getting poison, especially in this zone. So uh, that seems to be the best idea. Okay, whetstone is going to improve that. As soon as I get uh, an anvil, I'm going to improve the uh, whetstone as well. Okay, clear that. So that's buffing our shields, which is nice. Rest. Okay, that'll give a shield now. That's cool. Just to clear the squares, I think I'll do that. Okay, so we've got the altar in now. Can I get all of these? Uh, dink, 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 dink. Yes, I think so. I'm starting to see that shield really stacking now, so I'm gonna. Um, we've got the provisions to do this, so let's do that. Can I get. How many of these can I get? So I've got. Well, I like. Is she gonna hit my health? No. Oh yeah, because of the thing I've got, right? So he's gonna do six damage to me, that's actually fine. Could rest again. Thirteen seems good, that's a legendary uh, chest. What are these? So blue crystal, as long as the this card is in play after each of your moves deals one damage to a random enemy. I don't like the ones that I kind of have to dance around, I think, because I want to be able to sort of move where I want to move. Two poison, two bleed to all enemies in play. I think this, this one is just 
good. Like, there's no real downside to using that. Let's have a look at these. Um, so that's pretty good now. I'm going to drop that out for... I know it's an epic, but because it only affects the enemies around me, it is quite limiting in that way. But, you know, as soon as we can expand our deck, I'll bring it back. I think I want to buff that now. Okay, we'll see what she's got available. Uh, cards. Okay, so what have we got? Set your shield equal to your lost HP. Well, that's not good for us because it'll only it'll be a maximum of three. <laughs> uh, no. Mm. Think about the cards is I, I've got quite a small decks at the moment, so I, I, I want to sort of expand that. I think before I delve too much into that sort of thing. We got the shepherd though, so that might be an option. Endurance. Yes. I'd quite like to get the more provisions as well. I think I'll do that. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got the hammer back now. That seems pretty good. I might even move the provisions back one. Uh, so I think we'll do the fights for the area, then maybe come back. Depending on how much gold we like, I like for this. I can't do that at the moment. Uh, ooh. Drops of blood. If it's his, I don't have much time left. Hang on, Gregory. That wasn't a fight, this will be. Shame there's no anvil in this area, but hey, it still improved it. Uh, yeah, we can take the uh, we can take the poison. Don't really want any more of it. We'll do the shields thing, but maybe in a bit. Uh, it might not even be necessary now. So we, to get on those shields, we want to sort of hit... So that gave us the most shields we could have got in that situation. Um, so when I do my special power, something else happens. I can't remember what, though. Maybe it doesn't. Um, I think I will. There's the altar. Uh, around this way. I think I'm going to risk. I want to power that up more. We got the uh, available provisions. Got loads of shields. Started to get the build rolling again, which is nice. I think when it works, as, as it's been working, I feel like, um, jump in here and rest, I think. Oh, we could do this again. No, we'll just rest, I think. Like, when it gets rolling, I feel like she's gone from being, like, quite a problematic character to play to being possibly one of the most powerful ones. In terms of, like, sheer tankiness. She's not, she doesn't put up as much damage as everyone else, but when she gets the right relics and cards in, it's level 15 now, we'll take that. Um, she hits really hard, so this is even more cards in our deck. That's good. So now I've got that again. That's perfect. Am I still happy with this one going second? I think so, for now, until I get something really good. What have we got? 
Uh, using a special power deals as much damage to all non-boss enemies in play as it costs in spirit. So basically that this is really good because it's 12 damage to all enemies in play who aren't the boss. Using a power costing 6 spirits or more also gives plus 1 to a card in play from your deck permanently. That's less good. This one is like kill all button. So we'll take that. Now do I want to go... I've only got 16 gold which isn't a huge amount but I can use that altar. So I'll at least check out what uh, stuff it's... Well, I'll do it anyway. It heals you 1 HP for each enemy in play. Not amazing. Charges changes one random non-boss enemy into a wood card of the same value. Uh, okay. I mean, I'll probably put it on the whetstone because that's something that I'm always going to be playing as soon as possible, most cases. Okay. Well, we haven't really got any more gold to speak of, so let's move on to mountains. Just realised it was already quite a long video. Let me just check the, the time on it. I think we could potentially keep going a little bit longer. The runs are a little bit quicker now that she's uh, doing so much more damage. But yeah, we want that. <laughs> he turned into wood, so that's good. Wood is good. Hit him anyway, but he's basically dead. Oh, okay. Someone else died. I mean, I don't need these, but we'll take them anyway, because it opens up spaces for cards to be drawn into. Ooh. Yeah, this feels pretty good. Okay, he's hitting hard. Let's, um... Let's go. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll get rid of all those guys. Uh... Might try and take the dodge card last because I'm not quite sure. I'll have to take that. If the dodge persists past the rest, which I'm now going to do. I'll take that now. That's going to feed us shields. Put the bleed, which isn't great. That usually has dodge. It's interesting that it doesn't. Alt has appeared though. I don't have as much um, shields this time. So anything that's got more than four hit points, um, I'm going to have to keep hitting. So he's going to do hit me for 12 out of 21. maybe kill that one, but then I wouldn't be able to come back here. And I wouldn't be able to rest either, so... so um, get out while the getting's good sometimes, huh? Doesn't, doesn't feel quite as powerful as my last one. Spirit cards also inflict poison to all enemies in play. Amazing. Using a special power inflicts four poison to all enemies in play. Enemies appear with bleed. Does feel, these all feel pretty good. I mean, I'm going to take that one, because don't forget, if we're taking their HP down, it's also taking down the damage they're doing to us. What's this? Gives you shield. Yeah, I'll take that. Who have we got? Are you sending relics? But yes, you are. What's this one? Doubles all poison inflicted to enemies. Using a special power also spends the night for free. Jack and enemy does one change. It's quite tempting. When is it triggering now? It's just when I use a special power, isn't it? Spirit cards. So every time I take a spirit card, it's going to be doing two poison damage to every enemy in play. Hmm. That's quite good, actually. I'll take that. 
hmm, okay. Let's go this way. I don't really mind which one of these this buffs, so I th I'll, I'll just uh, do it. So it goes down as I move, which is kind of good to know. But dodge will give us shield, so I'll try and do his enemies uh, for four. Mm -hmm. I'll the wood. Right, let's uh, let's re-roll. I don't want to have to do that right now. Okay, apologies there wasn't any sound in that last section. Um, it's, <laughs> I'm editing this quite late at night and I saw there was a few minutes that just my mic was still muted for. I thought, you know what, Let, let's just leave that. They, <laughs> it, I, know how, I know how this run ends and it's not, it's not amazing. Um, but yeah, I just want to say, um, you know, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed that anyway, just about the last few minutes of uh, commentless uh, activity. Um, as we can see, I mean, I think... Um, I think this character, Matilda, uh, she's a little bit more complicated to go with, and you really need sort of the right equipment set, I think, to, to make it happen. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll come back and maybe do it next time. We might use a new character. I'm not sure yet. But thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you could hit the thumbs up button, if you did enjoy it, that'd be amazing. If you could leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the series so far. I'm always very interested in hearing your thoughts. And if you're, uh, you know, watching this and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.